in the ancient lands of Europe, treasures from the past can still be found hidden throughout the landscape. And that is exactly what happened on a warm summer day this June, when a little eight-year-old girl named Sega was outside playing at her local lake. Sega was throwing sticks and stones into the lake to see how far they could skip, when she suddenly found something that was heavy and pointy. She dragged it out from the muddy water and held an ancient sword in her hands that had not seen the light of day for nearly 1500 years. She held it up into the air in excitement and yelled, Daddy, I found a sword, who then came running down to the lake and took it from her. This lake where the sword was found is called Viustan, and it is where the family has their summer house. And just like in many other parts of Europe, it had experienced a hot and dry summer that had led to a heavy drought. And as a result of this drought, the water in the lake was lower than it normally was, which probably was part of the reason why Sega was able to find the sword in the first place. The sword is about 85 centimeters long, and it still has its remains of some of its wood and leather scabbard. The sword is estimated to date back to the 5th or 6th century, which is just a few hundred years prior to the Viking Age. I look forward to see this sword at an exhibition, but according to Michael Nørstrøm from the local museum, the conservation process will take quite a long time, and he estimates that it will take at least a year to see the fine details on the sword. Let's hope that the Swedish Minister of Culture does not interfere again and turn this sword into metal scraps like it happened the last time. Many people on Twitter have since the sword was discovered treated that Sega should be the new queen of Sweden because she found the sword in a lake, which would probably be an improvement to be honest. But while the Arthurian legends of the sword in the stone and the lady in the lake is a funny reference, it is not a Nordic saga. However, it was very common to sacrifice valuable objects in lakes and bogs in Northern Europe, both before and after the Viking Age. Swords was an extremely valuable object in Scandinavia at this time in history, and it probably belonged to someone that was very rich or very powerful. The sword could even have belonged to the legendary Beowulf, or someone from his tribe, which was called the Gets, who inhabited the southern parts of Sweden in the 6th century. I don't know about you, but I look forward with excitement to see what else might be found in this lake in the coming years by the Swedish archaeologists. Let's hope that the Swedish government will be willing to support further excavations in this area. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. See you next time for another video. Thank you for watching.